The human brain contains more than 100 billion cells connected through a network that creates our thoughts, feelings, and memories. But we still don't know exactly how memories are stored and retrieved by our brains. Neurobiologist Mark Sheffield's lab at the University of Chicago is working to uncover these complex processes with hopes that it could one day help treat conditions like Alzheimer's disease. Find out how inside the lab. Cells in our brain, called neurons, transmit information through connections called synapses. Scientists know that conscious memories form in a region of the brain called the hippocampus. But how that process works remains a mystery. One of the things we're really interested in is how emotion modulates memories. How does the neural activity and the connections between them allow for memories to form and for them to be consolidated and retrieved at some later time? And how does emotion modulate that process? To find out, researchers in the lab observe mice in virtual mazes where they receive rewards at specific locations. Using advanced imaging techniques, Scientists measure activity in the hippocampus to understand which neurons and synapses encode these memories. With this technique, neurons light up when they are being used. So we can see those neurons with our microscope and we can see their activity. It's like a firework display. As the mice run through the virtual mazes seeking rewards, scientists measure their levels of dopamine, a chemical that is released in the brain when we experience pleasure. When mice get close to rewards in the maze, their dopamine levels in the hippocampus ramp up, which seems to help create the memory. Dopamine seems to be necessary to stabilize the memory of the animal's experience. The work could shine light on how to treat conditions that affect memory, including Alzheimer's disease, post-traumatic stress disorder, stroke, and attention deficit disorders. Memory problems affect so many people in the world. If you can understand the system, then you can target those things and be strategic about it. If we can shift the system back to its normal state, then you can make progress. That could lead to breakthroughs and treatments to help people with these conditions. And it could only happen inside the lab.